problem 141 a tank shown in figure is fabricated by 1 inch steel plate calculate the maximum longitudinal and circumferential stress caused by the internal pressure of 125 psi given natin dito is yung thickness thickness na 1/8 inch and then internal pressure na 125 pound per inch squared calculate natin yung longitudinal stress saka tangential stress or circumferential stress ang formula ng longitudinal stress is equal to rho times d over 40 ang formula ng tangential stress is equal to rho internal pressure times d over 2t pero itong formula na to for cylindrical lang cylindrical ito hindi naman siya cylindrical so medyo pahaba konti so hindi magagamit to gagamitin natin yung yung force is equal to 2t kung tangential stress tapos yung force is equal to t kung longitudinal stress okay unahin natin yung longitudinal stress based on based on longitudinal stress so longitudinal stress ito yung figure nya copy longitudinal meaning ang i-consider nating area is yung cross section okay, lagay mo dito para hindi ka malito sa area cross section so P is equal to F yung consideration natin yung F which is yung force or yung internal pressure F is equal to rho times area area nung shaded yung area shaded hindi na natin kinoconsider yung kapal basta itong buo na lang to kasi yung pressure is almost the same yun yung sabi dun sa libro kaya hindi na kinoconsider yung thickness so rho or yung pressure na 125 pound per inch squared times area nitong cross section so area ng cross section is 2 feet times 1.5 yung ito lang na area so 2 feet times 1.5 feet plus yung semicircle dito tapos may height na 1.5 tapos dalawang semicircle kaya circle na siya so pi d pi d squared over 4 pi d na 1.5 squared over 4 so yan si area Kaso, naka, naka fit Tapos, naka-inch yung pressure. So, convert natin sa from feet to inch. So, 12 inch, 1 feet squared kasi area. So, equal to 1 to 5 times 2 times 1.5 2 times 1.5 3 plus 1.5 squared all over 4 
So, 9 pi all over 16. Times 144. Kasi 12 squared. Is equal to 125 times 3 plus 9 pi all over 16 times 144 85,808.62 pounds ayan yung F ngayon yung P yung nagre-resist cross-sectional area so yung thickness times perimeter so thickness na 1.8 Meron na tayo, perimeter na lang ang kailangan natin kunin. So, perimeter Dito na lang. Perimeter is equal to ito, 2 feet. Tapos sa taas, so times 2 plus perimeter ng semicircle pi d kasi dalawang semicircle pi times d na 1.5 feet naka fit silang dalawa so 1 to 4 plus pi times 1.5 ayan yung perimeter natin So, i-equate natin dito sa force na kailangan i-resist ni perimeter times thickness. So, perimeter times thickness which is ito yung area. Tapos, yung stress ni longitudinal. Area times stress longitudinal. So, P na 2 times 2 plus pi times 1.5. So, fit to. So, kailangan natin i-convert sa inch. So, times 12. Para maging inch to. Yung lahat ng term na yan is times 12. Times 1 8 inch longitudinal stress tapos equate natin sa 85,808.62 pounds so isa na lang yung variable dyan yung stress due to longitudinal ok meron ka makukuhang 6,566.02 pounds per inch squared kasi stress okay, next tayo dun sa based on tangential stress based on tangential stress yung cross section area is longitudinal longitudinal section so dalawang T yung nagre-resist is equal to F yung F is equal to stress times area yung area na i-consider mo is longitudinal. So, ito, yung L times itong length na to. So, yung length na yan, uh, ito is 0.75 
kasi diba 1.5 to so kalahati kaya 0.75 and then yung 2 feet to 2 feet tapos kalahati ng 1.5 kaya 0.75 so 2 feet feet yan lahat tapos dito rin symmetrical 0.75 feet tapos L wala tayong given na L so yung total nito is 0.75 times 2 plus 2 feet kaya yung total length nyan is 0.75 times 2 plus 2 3.5 so yung area natin is equal to 3.5 feet times L so feet din yan times rho so yung F is equal to 125 internal pressure pound per inch squared times 3.5 feet times 3.5 feet times L so uh, kung ang consideration natin sa L is inches So, pwede na lang, ito na lang yung i-convert natin. Yung feet. Pero, of, kapag ang consideration natin is, yung L is naka-feet, o di 12 squared. So, i-consider muna natin as ito, yung L na inch. Para yung i-convert na lang natin is tong 3.5 feet. So, 1, 2, 5 times 3.5 times 12 kasi kinonvert natin times L as inch na lang tong L so F is equal to 125 times 3.5 times 12 5,250 L Then, yung nagre-resist na dalawang T. So, ang consideration natin yung T is yung longitudinal. Ito, yung thickness nito. So, yung T muna tayo, yung nagre-resist. So, thickness, meron tayong thickness na 1.8 times yung L tapos yung stress due to tangential so 1 over 8 so consider natin ang inch to times L stress ng tangential so ito yung hinahanap natin and then T so Sundin natin tong equation 1. So, 1.8 L stress ni T times 2. Kasi dalawa, kabilaan. Is equal to F, which is 5.250 L. Yung L, makakancel. So, di ba kahit anong kinonsider mo kanina, mapa-feet or inch, magkakancel up din. So, stress... Stress ni tangential is equal to 5,250 divided by 2. Kasi ililipat mo sa kabila. Times 8. Makukuha mo dyan is 21,000 pounds per inch squared. So, ito yung sagot sa tangential stress. Tapos, yung isa naman, ito si longitudinal stress. Okay?